How's it going, guys? So this is something a little different I'm doing. I got something in the mail. It's a, a NASCAR die cast, so I'm going to add to the collection. And plus an extra that I got with it. I thought this was really cool to get. I thought that this was pretty rare, and I got it for a pretty cheap price. So I'm going to unbox it, and we'll take a quick look at it. So now we got that through. Let's go ahead and rummage through this and see what we got here. Alrighty, so if you're wondering what this is, this was from 2002. The quality might be a little bad if I keep it too close. But this is from the year 2002, driven by Kevin Grubb for Team Bristol Motorsports. Um, he drove his car for a few races in the Bush Series. The, the original plan was he was going to take this car and this team to the Cup Series in 2003, run it for a full season, but unfortunately the deal fell through. And unfortunately, Kevin Grubb, if you're wondering where he is now, he unfortunately passed away in 2009 through suicide. So, um, as you can tell in the back of here, there's actually stuff you can collect. So Toys R Us made this a pretty big deal, actually, you know, the to try and promote NASCAR. You hear my Skype going off in the background. But I think it would have been cool for Toys R Us to, you know, promote NASCAR to kids this way. A lot of kids would have gotten into the sport more. And, um, so yeah, that's this car. I'll try to unbox it here in a moment. But, uh, there was a little bonus that came with it. This was a, a excuse me, this was a total of $23 or so overall. So, and that includes shipping. But it came with a hauler, funny enough. So, yeah, it actually came with a hauler that, like, transports the cars and everything. So, you know, exclusively at Toys R Us. This was from 2002. I was, like, five years old when this happened. I wasn't even in the NASCAR yet. I, I got into NASCAR a couple of years later in 2004. But um, I, I read up about this because I'm following Griff Dog on YouTube, who's doing a series called One More Spark. And basically, it's about what if all these drivers hadn't died, what if some of these drivers had gotten a chance, and uh, who knows, maybe this car, will we'll get to see it in one more spark, maybe. So, Kevin Grubb, um, number 54, Toys R Us Chevrolet for Team Bristol Motorsports. Again, drove it in the Bush Series for a few races in 2002. Had the original plans of going full-time in the Cup Series, but it never happened. So once again, there's the hauler, and uh, in a moment, I'll, uh, I'll actually unbox this for you guys as well. Alright, so go. let's go ahead and uh, dive a little bit more into this. As you can see, there's the car, um, Kevin Grubb's number 54 car. I'll try and get it as close as I can. Uh, I don't want to get too blurry, but as you can see, there's like a little draft feel on the car, the little draft design for Jeffrey the Draft, the uh, mascot of Toys R Us. I, I really like it. I like the yellow and the red spoiler back there. Um, you can't tell from here, but it's actually got the realistic contingencies on the side right here where my thumb is. And it's even got the Bush Series logo. I'm really impressed by that because it's Toys R Us. So you wouldn't think the Bush Series logo would be on there. You know, Bush, beer, alcohol, and all that stuff. So I'm impressed by that. I'm, I like the realisticness of this. Um, I would give this car a really good rating. I really like the design of this car. And with the card, it actually came with a little card here. There's Kevin Grubb. And has some information on the back. Uh, the team's website, which I'm sure isn't there anymore. But Toys R Us, uh, what car it is, the crew chief, team owner. Here's Kevin Grubb, Team Bristol Motorsports. Got Jeffrey Giraffe with a little hat on there, which I think is kind of cute. And back here, I'll lift my camera up a little bit more. There is the trailer that came with it. The Toys R Us racing trailer. And if you are wondering, you can open the back of it. See? As a matter of fact, let me... So, what you can do, if you want to have a little fun with it, if you're doing like a stop motion kind of thing or whatever, you can just slide the car on in there. It's kind of difficult handling things while you're handling the camera. Here, there you go. So, you can put the car into the little trailer there. And that's about it. There you go.